my name's Ian Danby, I'm the director of the Burt of Biddeford, and I'm here with Nick Duxbury, curator of Welcome to My World. Hello. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the exhibition and um, why you chose the name? Uh, so the exhibition comprises 35 artists from across the world. Um, it's really an exploration of how ceramicists and contemporary studio ceramics are using the medium of ceramics to tell stories which are not necessarily something which has been happening for a long time. Um, there's some pretty decent examples of fairly major artists who are using ceramics in this way. Um, and it's called Welcome to My World because it's not really about me, it's about the artists and the fact that their careers are based on creating these worlds in which they inhabit and then when they display they're inviting you to come and view their world and kind of take away their world view from the pieces which they've created. Some of the some of the pieces are quite political, I mean you're surrounded by a number of political ones which relate to other artists or to the Covid pandemic or to other incidents like Brexit or the, uh, the inauguration of Donald Trump. Um, tell me a little bit about the artists that have, um, what, what, they're, what they're trying to bring out in the work they've done. Well, I think particularly with the plates, it's a very quick medium for ceramic artists, so they're almost like an extension of sketchbooks in a way. They're the way of reacting on a day-to-day -day basis, so when Edward Coulston was toppled, then a plate could appear, and they are a group of artists who see that immediacy rather than feeling like they're sitting in the studio for months on end creating and creating and creating and then just selling plates and mugs and kind of everyday domestic where they're very much a group of artists who are creating work for now. And you've chosen to put a number of the works actually alongside our collection, um, which is a very bold move and actually really draws on a number of themes from our own collection, um, the RJ Lloyd collection particularly. Tell me a bit about why you wanted to do that. Well, when I first started looking at Burton's collection, a couple of things jumped out at me as things which could link to particularly the refugee crisis. So there's a small fishing jug which says, throw out the lifeline and pull in the flaming. Or, no, it's, its message is based around fishing, but actually the refugee crisis and people trying to cross the Mediterranean and the channel is still something which is going on and there's artists who respond to that. And so that kind of became an intervention. There's a couple of mugs which are very personal to a certain person in the military, but actually there's a lot of artists who use mugs as their way of displaying themselves and particularly LGBTQ plus communities and the black community have used mugs in a way of representing their own communities which are definitely underrepresented. And then there's an element in the museum which draws on the Meisen collection, which is maybe not what people would think of when they think of the birds and ceramic collection, but actually the way that contemporary artists are using figurines and ready-made or found objects links so closely to that mass manufacture history of ceramics, which I think maybe gets a little bit swept under the carpet because it's not necessarily in vogue at the moment, but you know, 150 years ago was definitely the way of telling your story and your affluency, I guess, to some degree, you know, they were a marker of taste and actually the artists who are using them in a contemporary way are twisting that. And sort of subverting it in a way where they're trying to draw out maybe uh, they sort of there's, there's elements of humour than ones I've seen, but also subverting some of the images of women, particularly, um, and some of the farmhands and things of the collection. Yeah, I think it's trying to right some historical wrongs of you know the ideas of beauty and the fact that lots of it was very kind of male centric and you know you have voluptuous women and stuff and actually that doesn't sit too well in society at the moment. So that's how they're responding. 
um, can you tell me a little bit about what, what, how this relates to our collection or, and what probably intrigues you about the Burton's own collection? I think the Burton's collection is telling a story of ceramics from this area in particular and the things which can be drawn from that are not necessarily only related to Devon and I think that's how my view of it went. So taking things to do with the First World War and showing how a contemporary artist is doing that. Yes, the object is from the Archie Lloyd collection, but it can prompt a response from the contemporary artist in a totally different way. I mean, I think the, the exhibition is a very fine example of some really great curation and it actually sits so beautifully in our gallery. I know we have um, designs to tour the exhibition alongside with, with you and other galleries have shown interest. Can you sort of draw out one or two of your favourite pieces? Um, the Toby Jug, which kind of hits you in the face as you walk through the door initially, has to be one of my favourites. It's not been seen in public for almost 30 years, so to get it is a real coup, because when Richard Lee made them, they kind of disappeared into private collections. So to be able to find one and bring that out is pretty spectacular. Also, if you've ever seen a photo of them, they could be any size. So I think the size kind of takes you by surprise. It's it's a lot bigger than maybe most people are thinking. And I also really like Katie Stop's work, which is also quite near the front of the gallery, but her work is so different to anything else that I've seen. It's graphic and slightly gory, but she has a huge respect for Renaissance art and the forms of ceramics from a history of ceramics, which is going back a couple of thousand years, not just you know, studio pottery in the 20th century. And I think that's a really exciting thing. And she's you know, young, she's really young and talented and those are really good things to see. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.